questions. Today's topic is about uh, static dynamic linking uh, or static dynamic library. So in Rust, everything is uh, more of a cred fashion, cred and library fashion. So we call it libraries in C and creds in Rust. Creds are nothing but of libraries. Uh, basically, it's a dependencies what you import from either from Crave.io or some other local repositories or from others, you know, from others implementation. Okay, that we call it as creds in Rust. We call it as libraries in C. Um, so, so we're gonna see uh, a demonstration uh, what exactly static and li dynamic library mean. So in, in common terms, static li library is something what you link at the compile time and dynamic library is something what you link at the runtime. Okay, if you have the file available at the compile time, then go ahead and do it, link it. If you don't want to use more memory, you wanna have only one copy of library and just wanna map it on your runtime, then go ahead and go for it. Or if you don't have any kind of libraries available at the compile time, sometimes what happens is at the runtime you're gonna get, you're gonna you're going to generate the libraries. Then go ahead and use it. Okay, every both has its own uh, pros and cons and use cases. Based on that, you can go ahead and uh, use in your project. Okay, let's go into the implementation part or and documentation part. So, so we have uh, two uh, documentations available for um, libraries. So one talks about linking and one talks about how to create the library. So I'm just, uh, I'm gonna show you how to create a library. Let's talk about linking, okay? So in linking, um, so when you define your uh, correct or library, so correct is nothing but a library in Rust, okay? When you define a correct project, okay, you are doing a correct project, you can define it either as a library or it as a bin file, okay? When you do it as a bin file, right? So your default output will be runnable you're gonna get an executable file. But the compiler expects a main dot rs file. If the main the compiler expects a main function in the correct. Okay, if you don't if you don't have a main file, it's gonna throw error. Okay. So if you have a bin, then it expects a main file. Or if you want to define a credit type as library. So everything is static in Rust or any language. So default you're gonna get a static library as your compiled output. Okay. If you mention explicitly as tlib then you're gonna get the dynamic library as a dlib as output. So it is dot so in Linux, uh, dot lib in uh, Mac OS and dot ll in Windows, okay? These are the types, what you're gonna get it, okay? Uh, if you explicitly mention it as static lib, then you're gonna get dot a file on Linux, Mac and Windows, okay? So this is gonna be your uh, type, okay? Linux like and Mac and Windows, uh, Windows and dot lib files in Windows. If it, is, if it is msvc okay so if it's min then you're gonna get uh, rt if it is msvc you're gonna get it as dot lib so if you want to use the library of rust in other languages say if you want to use it in c and other languages then you give it as uh, cdlib cdlib will give you dot so uh, dlib and uh, dll okay uh, this is used when compiling a dynamic library to be loaded from other languages, okay. From other languages, you want to load from other languages, you're gonna use this CDLib. Then you have something called as RLib. So RLib is a common notation for a static library. If you give or don't give, it doesn't matter. The default um, compiled uh, output will be a RLib. Okay. And then if you want to define uh, your credit as a proc macro, uh, you can do it as a proc macro. So proc put off as a procedural macro. Okay. Uh, so this is out of our scope of this talk. So we're gonna focus on these many things, okay? So if it has been, it expects a main file, else dlib, static lib, cdlib, or rlib, so these are all libraries, okay? So I also have a repository published uh, about Rust library, dynamic and static library, where I talk how do you link static and dynamic and vice versa, and how the application can call it, okay? So I have a detailed uh, explanation about how do you compile it, how do you build it, and how do you link it. And um, there's a decent amount of documentation available here and you can just uh, go through it. I'm, I'm gonna clone this repository and I'm gonna show you how it works, okay? Before that, let's uh, create a library. Say, uh, let's create a library. So I'm inside this folder. So the command is cargo new um so example, you, you wanted to test a library right test uh L -I -B -R -A -R -A library hyphen hyphen lib if you don't give hyphen hyphen lib you, you're gonna get default source and main function okay so now i got my test library 
if you go inside this you're gonna find a library a default some add function available here if you go inside cargo automel there's nothing available okay so now let's go inside this function let's go inside test library so if i compile this function cargo build so i'm gonna get rlib i told you right default you're gonna get rlib so rlib is something which is um, static library in rust it's a rust static library okay now let's do some implementation let's do cargo clean and let's add library type so lib crd create type so now i'm going to explicitly mention it as lib okay so let's see so if i mention as lib so even though um, if you mention as lib right so it will be ambiguous so what you're going to get but some compiler is uh, default implementation is always static library okay if i do cargo build so you're going to get target debug build so here you got rlib okay so rlib is something which is default this is what you're going to get so let's do cargo clean and let's check how to create a dynamic library cargo clean let's do ls so now instead of lib i'm going to use dy lib okay dy lib will also will give you will give you dynamic library explicitly so i'm building it my build is finished if i go inside debug i'm going to get dy lib so this dy lib can be uh, loaded into your application file at the runtime this is the one advantage of of it okay so how you going to do it you're going to see it in a while now let's do cargo clean something called a cd lib if you want to load in other other languages then you have to use cd lib so it's going to give you um, dot so rlib and uh, dot dll based on the operating system you use so i believe we should get rlib itself so okay what is this so we have to use cd while lib so if you do cd while lib so you're going to get dynamic library okay so you're going to get dynamic library uh, as your type so this is your which can be used in other functions okay so uh, this is this, this is about how you can uh, create dynamic libraries so let's see how do you link it how does the compiler links it so before that if you want explicitly mention okay i want a uh, i want a static library then you can use rlib then let's do cargo clean then cargo build so you're going to get target lib rlib so explicitly you can mention or default will be a dynamic library or sorry static library okay now let's go into the functions how do we uh, so i just created this test library to show how to create dynamic static library and clib rlib etc so let's delete this folder and let's uh, get into the implementation of it okay so i have this um, application function here so i have this same thing uh, static library which has implementation like this and nothing in cargo automat so when i build this uh, you're going to get lib cargo build okay so now i got a static lib inside this function so cargo automel is nothing but if you go and target you're going to get a rlib folder rlib in static lib so now i also have a folder which is a dynamic library so if you go inside source you have a function called as run which is running in dynamic library okay so this function will help you to uh, just run a simple print line function if you go into cargo automel file you're going to find it as dynamic lib so so whenever i compile that you're going to get as dynamic lib so now i take this dynamic lib and put inside this folder you can also map it from here also but i'm just for my 
understanding or uh, easy understanding you just kept these things inside here so i also have something called as uh, dynamic static library which will um, call static library inside dynamic function you can call i'm you can see i'm calling a uh, static library inside this uh, dynamic function uh, it's called as a run function and uh, if you go inside the target the type is a variant compile so if you can call terminal the type is dynamically so this is about how you call static lib dynamic library from static library. This is, uh, this is about that. So how do you link a static library? So you have to write a small script for that. You need to go inside a build.rs file. You need to link the dependencies. So you just have to add the uh, path of a target debug thing so that it can link it at the compile time. Also you have to also add dependencies whatever it is there. So these two things required you can also add this line also. What is your uh, library name okay static lib1 so these three are the three uh, linker script required which is written in a rebuild.rs file okay next is how do you call the function so once you put in the build.rs file no so the compiler will will automatically link it just have to do extern correct uh, static lib and go inside the main function and static lib dot f and f and add if you call you're gonna get the function for dynamic library it is a little different so I'm just writing a function called as run, which will be called from main function. So run will be called from main. So I'm using something called as a DL open correct. So DL open is a correct which will dynamically open the files. It also has a stuff called as containers. So container has a type T, so which wraps around the functionality of your dynamic library. So if you have a functionality called uh, run function, so in this you have a function called as run, you have to define the uh, functionality in your main function. Okay, I have this function called as run which takes no arguments. If you have a function called as subtraction, if it takes a argument called extern function, maybe it's a integers, right? So it can be a x hyphen hyphen i32, 32, 32 and comma y hyphen i32. Since it's a subtraction function, the result can be both negative and positive. So I'm using i32. So based on the functionality, whatever you have, you can define in this wrapper. So this structure defines what all functions you have in the dynamic library. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a container and I'm gonna load the dynamic library inside this. And this container will have the, uh, will be a wrapper for my dynamic library. Okay, this is a plugin API. This is what I have defined. Currently I have one function. That's why, um, one function, that's why I'm like, uh, I've done it one run function there. So everything container will wrap around this thing and it will be given to your plugin API wrapper. So now this plugin API wrapper is a primary contact for your this dynamic library. So all the functionalities of dynamic library will be in this plugin API wrapper. So I need to dot run. So dot run will call this run function running from dynamic library. Okay. So this is how you can link it. So if you have a multiple implementation then you can go ahead and add the functionalities inside this structure and structure will be able to call it this is about uh, this is about how do you link it so let's uh, run the function so i actually have uh, uh, too many implementations let's keep it simple let's uh, call the thing so before that you have to first step is to do build up the static library so once you uh, compile static library, just go inside dynamic library. Uh, you keep compile. Anyway, I have kept the uh, libraries compiled uh, uh, here at this location, so I don't have to compile it again. So do cd this thing. Let's go to static uh, cd applications. Now if I do cargo build. So I found this error called as multiple definitions found.
Yeah. So now we have something called as uh, running uh, from dynamic library. So it was compiled two times. So I was trying to, trying to find two path. So now we can see running from dynamic library and running from select library. These are the functions what you found. Okay. This is about uh, setting dynamic linking. Thank you.